hello viewers in this video i'm going to show you how to set up change data capture using data flow in azure data factory change data capture is a tool we use to track changes from the data source so that those changes will reflect on the destination cdc allows organizations to achieve data integrity and consistency across all systems and deployment environment this is a graphical overview of how cdc works as you can see this is the source this is the destination any change being carried out on the source it can be in start statement it can be update statement it can be a delete statement whatever change being made on the source cdc will make it reflect on the destination it will capture all the changes made on the source and put them on the destination depending on how you set it up it can be doing that as the changes are being carried out immediately it can be doing that based on the timing you set up so in this video i will discuss extensively on cdc resources in azure data factory sql server will be my, the source and data lake will be the sync the destination so i'm going to use data flow to set it up as you can see from here this is the source that sql server is the source so I'm going to enable CDC on the SQL server so that any change being made there will be captured to the destination. Data lake will be the destination. This is the setup process. Firstly, I'm going to connect the on-prem server to Azure SQL server. Enable CDC both on database and table. Set up source, set up destination, set up pipeline, run the pipeline and track the changes let's get started the first step i need to take is connecting my sql server to azure sql server this is my microsoft sql server management studio i click on this drop select my sql server i put in my password i click connect it's asking me to sign in i click sign in It's saying firewall rule. I need to add this to my SQL cell server. This is my Azure SQL database. It's very easy to create Azure SQL server database. All you need to do is just to click create database, follow the steps and you get it created. I click set server firewall. Most of the times you notice that this public access is under here disable if it's under disable you untick it and put it selected network then i come over to my firewall i add firewall rule i go over to base copy my firewall rule i put in here startup ip this is the startup ip I paste it. This is the end IP. I copy it and paste here. I click OK. I click Save. Successfully saved. I go back to my server. Click OK. As you can see, I'm connected to my Azure SQL Server. server. That's how to connect on-prem server to Azure SQL Server. server. The first thing I need to do, let me create my table. Okay, let me create my database. Successful. Use retail store. Now let me create my table. This is the script to create my table. I run it. Successful. Let me insert some values to it. I execute successful three rules select let me see what is in my table I have five rows and three columns for me to set up my CDC I need to enable CDC on my database and the table so the first thing I need to do is to enable CDC on my database let me get the scripts let me first of all show you, copy this script, 
and paste over here i run it i have two database none is enabled so let me go ahead and enable the my database successful and let me run this script again as you can see my database has been enabled so let me go ahead and do the same for my table to enable cdc on my table first of all i copy this script i run it the cdc is not enabled in, enabled in any of these tables here yeah. let me go ahead and enable the table my customer table I run the script successful let me check whether it has been enabled good as you can see the cost cdc has been enabled on my customer table now that the cdc has been enabled on both the database and on the table let me go ahead and set up the cdc on the adf so i go to my adf click on auto I go to data flow, click on this three icon, click new data flow. I rename it. I rename the source data sets. I don't have any data set. So let me create one. I click new Azure SQL Server on the search option. I click on it. Click continue. I rename it. Link service. I don't have any one created. I click new. I rename it, connect via integration runtime, I select this, connect it to my Azure SQL cell. Remember, I link up my on-prem server to Azure SQL cell. And bear in mind that Dataflow does not support self-hosted integration runtime. I select my subscription, server name, SQL Cloud Server, my database name, this is my database name, username password i leave every other thing as it is click test connection connection successful i click create successfully created so this is my link service table name dbo customers i click ok i have created my data set source option under source option change data capture i tick it what type of Data capture, do you want to do SQL Server CDC? I'm not doing incremental column. Run mode, pull on the first run, then incremental. That's the one I want. Projection, this is the column name, this is the data type. Let me preview my data. Please turn on, let me turn on my data flow debug. Let me preview the data now. As you can see, these are the information in my table. So I'm good to go. I've set up the source. Let me set up the sync. I type sync. Sync output. Apple stream name. I rename it. The description, I leave it. Data sets. I create a new data set. I use uh, Azure block storage. Click continue. I use delimited tests click on it click continue i rename the data set the link service i create a new link service authentication type i leave it this is my azure subscription this is my storage name i leave every other thing at default i click test connection connection su successful i i click create link service has been created five parts i browse this is my container i click ok I click OK. Mappings, auto mappings. You know, here I can transform the data. I preview the data. Click refresh. Fantastic. As you can see, these are the information in my data. So we are good to go. Let me create a pipeline. Click on new pipeline, rename this. I drag my data flow to the pipeline. Let me run my pipeline. 
I click on debug. As you can see, it's running. Let me save my work. The running of the pipeline is successful. Let me go to my block storage. Let me check whether it has copied to my container. This is my container. I click on it. It has copied to my container. Click, click edit. These are the information in my container. Everything is successful. So let me do some changes by using insert, update, and delete statements. I see whether it will reflect here. I inserted three additional rows, as you can see from here. Let me go to my destination table. I click add trigger. I trigger now to effect the changes. Click OK. It's successful. Let me go to my storage. Let me open the file. Edit file. As you can see, these are the three additional rows added. Remember, let me go to source file. I stated here that full on the first run, then incremental. This is incremental. So the same way to go about updates and delete statements. So whatever change is made, it will automatically reflect on the destination. That's it for this video. If this video is useful to you, please subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you'll be duly notified whenever I add more videos. Thank you for watching.